Horses are magnificent, graceful, and delicate, yet also powerful, brave, and incredibly fast. The human species wouldn't be where it is today if it weren't for the devotion, loyalty, and help of our horses. Ask any warrior, merchant, or traveler from centuries past. From a ghostly horse that looks straight out of a scary movie to what is considered to be the most beautiful horse breed on the entire planet, here are 20 horses that are born only once in a thousand years. Number 20. Deer Horse Hybrids This is a very rare cross, to say the least, so much so that it's not really attested at all. However, there are various reports about deer horse hybrids in the older literature. In almost all of said reports, it is alleged mating a service alophis with a mare. In other words, a buck with a female horse. There aren't enough accounts so that every hybrid looks similar, like with other hybrid animals. But in 1858, a description of a female baby hybrid appeared in an issue of the Illustrated London News alongside a drawing. The mother, a pony mare, had been observed associating with some red deer stags in the new forest for a few months, and eventually she was seen with this foal by her side. They described the seven-month filly as having a nose similar to both the stag and the horse, with a round forehead like that of a deer with slender legs and distinctly doubled, pointed hooves and partially doubled. She was brown in color with a lighter area under her belly and a deer tail. There were some instances where the cross was done on purpose, like King Louis XII of France and the Swiss surgeon Jakob roof managed to impregnate a mare by a deer, and the result was a foal that resembled a deer in its posterior portion, and apparently no other horse could equal in speed. The French monarch rode this animal and kept it as a prized possession. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. The Zorse Zorse is an umbrella term for equine hybrids known as zebroids, which is the name given to an animal that is an equine hybrid that has zebra ancestry. Generally, a zorse is the child of a male zebra and a female horse. This animal usually looks more like a horse than a zebra, but has the iconic black and white stripes of the stallion. The zebra ancestry also gives the zorse more resistance to certain pests and diseases that normally affect horses and donkeys. In other words, on top of looking very unique and and cool, zorses are very hardy animals. Due to the fact that there are only three subspecies of zebra but almost 300 different breeds of domestic horse, a zorse can vary rather dramatically in both size and color, depending on its parents. In addition, zorses almost always inherit the temperament of their mother, which means that they behave and react just like a horse would. They also have short, coarse fur and slightly bolder legs than ordinary horses. They also present a darker mane and tail. Zorses have a big head with a long muzzle, pricked up ears, and deep, dark eyes with long and thick eyelashes that protect their eyes from things getting into them. They're very muscular and normally have black colored hooves, which allows them to navigate difficult terrains with more ease than horses. Number 18. Falabella Horse Falabella horses are not ponies, but authentic miniature horses. They originated in Argentina. They are harmonious, balanced, and perfectly proportioned horses. Its origin dates back to when the Spaniards took their horses to Argentina for their conquest. They were Andalusian Spanish horses known for their strength and endurance under difficult circumstances. When the Spanish were defeated, they left their horses to fend for themselves on the pampas. The surviving horses had to face harsh, adverse weather conditions, and that is why they necessarily underwent a series of processes and transformations. Around 1840, they were discovered by Patrick Newtall, who took the smaller horses out of the herd and began selective breeding with the aim of developing a small, harmonic, and well-structured horse. These animals are curious, intelligent, and affectionate, which makes them a valuable companion animal, with an extraordinary strength that allows them to survive in very severe climatic conditions without requiring greater care than any other equine receives. The Falabella horse generates esteem and affection for those who own it. Authentic Falabellas must have a pedigree, DNA proof, and a passport. Their average height is between 6 and 7 hands high, or 24 inches. A large Falabella, for instance, is no more than 34 inches tall. Number 17. Alfie 
Alfie is a very special horse, or rather, a very stubborn one. By the looks of it, you would think he's chewing on a Barbie doll, or maybe that someone put a fake blonde mustache on his nose. But no, that is Alfie's own facial hair that he refuses to let anyone trim or cut. At a staggering seven inches long when unfurled, his human parents believe it is the longest horse mustache in Britain. The stallion certainly seems very happy with his style choices. While most horses have their mustaches trimmed every six months or so, Alfie's has been growing for five years straight, and he's not gonna let anyone touch it anytime soon. In fact, he literally growls and kicks if anyone approaches him with the scissors. Alfie lives at Stables in Bitten near Bristol, where the manager, Haley Coxteth, says that he is a very headstrong horse and is very proud and attached to his mustache. He's quite the character. But despite his eccentric appearance, Alfie is a very shy horse and gets spooked quite easily. But once he gets to know you, he's the most gentle, sweet, and fantastic ride. But why do horses have whiskers? Well, they usually have facial hair around the muzzle to help them judge the distance of food and other objects. The more you know. Number 16. Hairless Horses after Will Smith's highly controversial incident at the Oscars, we all now know about alopecia and how it causes hair loss. We've also all heard about the peculiar Sphinx cat or the Chinese crested dog, both hairless breeds. But what about a hairless horse? Now, that would look quite weird. But as it seems, they do exist. Although, in the case of horses, it's not a breed peculiarity or the result of a skin condition, but a consequence of a very rare genetic mutation. However, there's one horse breed in particular that is much more prone to having that specific genetic mutation than any other, a call teke. Unlike in some cats and dogs, which are much sought after due to their lack of hair, hairlessness is not a desirable trait for a horse. They don't usually live too long and are a lot more sensitive to weather, alongside a long list of health issues. Also known as Golden Horses, the Akal Teke is a horse breed from Turkmenistan. They have a reputation for speed and endurance, intelligence, and a distinctive metallic golden sheen, which has given them their nickname. It's unclear why the naked foal syndrome occurs mostly in specimens of this breed, but we do know it is a heritable condition. Number 15. Curly Horses no, you are not looking at an automated stuffed animal. This is actually a horse with curly hair. Fluffy, isn't it? In winter and in the middle of a herd of horses, a Bashkir curly will never go unnoticed because it'll be the only horse that has curly hair. It's not known how this attractive, rare, and ancient breed of horse, originally from the Russian Urals region, got to North America, but that is where it's found its paradise now. The Russians historically used Bashkirs as work and transport animals and also to obtain milk with which to make kumis, a traditional drink obtained from fermented mare's milk. In the United States, the Bashkir curly lived in the wild for decades, mixed with herds of mustangs and other equine breeds that arrived here along with European settlers, until a certain John DeMail from Eureka, Nevada oversaw the capturing, taming, and recording of the first specimen of Bashkir at the beginning of the 20th century. The winters in that area of the United States were especially harsh and cold at that time. But the DeMail family was amazed to see how their Bashkir curly easily withstood the low temperatures thanks to its abundant and long curly coat, which made it resemble a giant sheep, and surprisingly, once summer arrived, it disappeared completely until the next winter. Number 14. Philly Sorrento so, apparently, being a foal born without a tail is such a rare occurrence that there's more chances of winning the lottery than that happening. But Philly Sorrento was indeed born completely tailless. The unique foal's owner, Darren Hardy of Hill Valley Stud Lynx, said that she has been thoroughly examined by the best vets and she is doing very well. Apparently, there are only two other horses in the whole world that were born without tails. The mutation is a lot more common in donkeys, which is where the children's game Pin the Tail on the Donkey comes from. When they did an x-ray exam on her, they saw that after her pelvis, she has a few more vertebrae, but then they just stop. The vets had never seen anything like it before. Darren usually sells the horses he breeds, but this one is so unique, he intends to keep her, mainly because he wants her to be happy and wants to keep an eye on her and see how she deals with issues such as flies and other bugs. Philly Sorrento comes from popular show jumping and eventing lines, but it's not clear as of yet if she'll be able to perform without a tail. Number 13. Shire Horse 
The history of the Shire Horse is intimately linked to that of the Great Horse, of which it is the direct descendant renamed English Black at the time of the Commonwealth of Oliver Cromwell. Great Flexibility It is a breed of British draft horse originating from central England. It is nicknamed Gentle Giant thanks to its docility and exuberant large size. In fact, the Shire holds the record for the tallest horse in the world. Shire stallions average slightly more than 17 hands, which is to say 68 inches or 173 centimeters in height, and weigh as much as 2,000 pounds, or about 900 kilograms. It is easily recognizable with its very abundant baleen and large white markings. Still used for agricultural work, it's mainly publicized by the brewing companies for which it draws impressive cars. Exported to Europe, the United States, Canada, and Australia, its numbers are relatively small, but its popularity allows it to maintain maintain itself. Number 12. Big Jake, the world's tallest horse. Big Jake held the title for the world's tallest horse. He even won a spot on the Guinness Book of World Records. Sadly, though, he has passed away. The sad day was on June 28, 2021, and it was with a very heavy heart that his owners shared the news with the world. For them, Big Jake wasn't just a world record holder. He was a central part of their family, and they feel very privileged to have had him in their lives. It's always devastating when a beloved animal passes away, and Big Jake was truly an exceptional horse. He was incredibly incredibly loving and impacted a lot of people during his time on Earth. He was a Belgian gelding and lived at Smoky Hollow Farm in Wisconsin, USA with owner Jerry Gilbert and her family. He broke the world record for the tallest horse living on January 19, 2010. He stood, without shoes, 20 hands and 2.75 inches tall, which is to say 82.75 inches or 210.19 centimeters. Surprisingly, he was the offspring of two average-sized horses. He wasn't exceptionally big for a foal, but he just kept growing and growing. Due to his immense size, Big Jake had to eat two full buckets of grain and a bale of hay every single day. Number 11. Fjord Horse Fjord is a breed of small horses from Norway. Its origins are old and it has few known crossings. This is why the fjord is considered to be very pure, descending from primitive Asian horses that arrived in Norway from the east. The Vikings presumably rode its ancestors for war. It is a rustic draft horse intended for agricultural work and forestry logging in its country of origin. It gains in size over time. Its harnessed talent earned it influence on most Western European draft horse breeds. Since the 1950s, it has been exported to many countries, particularly to Denmark and Germany, where its breeding is very active. Then in Belgium and France, where until 2003 it was considered a pony because of its size. The Fjord is one of the most interesting breeds in the world, zootechnically speaking. Indeed, it is not only incredibly old, but also, and above all, it has kept its original characteristics. It belongs to the so-called mountain breeds, small and versatile workhorses with an agricultural vocation, now increasingly converted into sport and leisure. In equine therapy, thanks to their sociable and sweet nature and closeness to humans, some fjords have obtained remarkable results. This horse is considered a national symbol in its home country of Norway. Number 10. Prince Imperial for those who love eccentric and bizarre places, Marion is a dream. Home of popcorn, a president, and none other than Napoleon III's horse. Here you can see it all. Among antique popcorn poppers, wagons, carts, and images of carnivals and fairs of bygone days stands the magnificent Prince Imperial. To gaze at the towering imperial white horse is nothing short of a surreal experience. His impressive white braids cascade to the floor, and you can't help but wonder if he's actually staring down at you, despite the fact that in 1888 he galloped straight into the heaven for horses. If there is one, that is. But don't be confused as many visitors are. This is not a model. It's the actual horse that famous French emperor Napoleon Bonaparte's nephew rode back in the day, centuries ago. The animal was stuffed with care after his death to ensure his fame would continue. Number 9. Nabstrupper Horses the Nabstrupper is a friendly horse with intelligent eyes. Its head, which has a rectilinear profile, is attached to a powerful and well-arched neck. 
the shoulders are strong and the back straight, the limbs lean and the hooves hard and sturdy. It measures 15.2 to 16 hands on average. The great particularity of the Nabstrupper, like the Appaloosa, is to have a spotted coat pattern. This horse is appreciated for its calmness and maneuverability. It makes an excellent saddle, dressage and leisure horse. Its original coat makes it very popular for horse shows. The Nabstrupper is equally suitable as a driving or vaulting horse. It's also good at western riding. This breed has existed for more than 200 years in Denmark. It appeared at the beginning of the 19th century. A Spanish officer imprisoned in Denmark left behind an Andalusian mare with an original coat, chestnut spotted with white. She was sold to a butcher named Flabe. The mare took his name. It's also known as Flabehoppen. Subsequently, she was crossed with a stallion Frederick Palomino. All her foals inherited her unusual coat. The result of this crossing was a spotted stallion called Flebe Hingston, who was the founder of the breed in 1812. The breed is named after its hometown, Nabstrup. They were then bred in order to give them an even more spotted coat. Number 8. Pierre have you ever seen a horse with blue eyes? Well, there's a first for everything. This is Pierre, the fabulous horse with blue eyes. Blue-eyed horses are definitely not something you see every day, but as you can see, they do exist. They're a very special sight, so much so that some people are even freaked out by their eeriness. However, a lot of people find them absolutely mesmerizing. Because of their captivating appearance and their rarity, there are a lot of myths and beliefs around them. Some people associate blue-eyed horses with extreme light sensitivity and a crazy temperament, but how much of this is true remains to be seen. Horses with blue eyes usually have white markings or dilution coat colors, such as palominos, perlinos, or buckskins. The gene that's responsible for the cream coat color also makes the eyes less pigmented. Now, some breeds are more known for having blue eyes, like quarter horse, Tennessee walking horse, paint horse, and Appaloosa. However, this can occur in virtually any horse breed in the world. Whether a horse will have blue eyes or not is more dependent on their coat color than any other factor. But once more, there is no absolute rule, and horses with base colors such as bay, chestnut, or black with blue eyes are extremely scarce, but not unheard of. Number 7. JJS Summer Breeze we already covered an adorable foal that was born without a tail, but what about the opposite? As in, a horse with a tail so long it literally broke a record. JJS Summer Breeze's tail is so long that it has been confirmed by the Guinness Book of World Records as the longest horse's tail in the world. It must be rather difficult to gallop with a tail measuring 12 and a half feet long, don't you think? But in fact, when outside the arena, JJS Summer Breeze's tail is kept braided and covered in a white tube sock for comfort and protection. But JJS Summer Breeze wasn't always the owner of such an extravagant tail. When she was younger, her tail was of normal size. Its growth simply boomed at some point in her life and made her the unique mare she is today. If you look closely, the end of the mane is partially chewed up. That's because it would get into her mouth as she ate, seeing as her silky hair is too long for comfort. Her owner, Crystal Socha, combs her tail once every two months. Can you guess how long it takes to go through it all? Three hours. Yeah, the simple operation of combing such a majestic tail takes all of three hours. Number 6. Marwari Horse the Marwari, also called Malani, is a breed of horse originating from the Marwari region in India. It is easily recognizable and widely known for its crescent moon ears. It is one of the oldest horses in the world. Indeed, the equine did not arrive on Indian lands with the invaders from the northwest countries. Rather, it has been found mentioned in much older texts. It would seem that the breed is the result of a mixture between Indian native horses and Arabian horses. The breeders wanted to improve the appearance of the horses while maintaining their resistance. Indeed, they were small and robust, but of poor conformation. There are many stories regarding the creation of the Marwari. The first is that a ship containing seven Arabian horses shipwrecked off the west coast of India. The Marwar people then captured the horses and gave them their name. These horses were the founding stallions of the breed. The other story says that a black Arabian stallion roamed the desert and fell in love with a mare with a blonde mane. On a crescent moon night, they produced foals with ears of the same shape. Thus, the breed was born.
This horse is particularly recognizable thanks to its ears, in the shape of a lyre curved inwards. It is the only horse to have such ears, and is considered one of the most beautiful horses in the world. Number 5. Einstein, the smallest horse in the world. This adorable little creature is the world's smallest horse. His name is Einstein, and he is smaller than a newborn baby. This pint-sized little stallion was just 14 inches tall three days after his birth, and he weighed in at an incredible six pounds. Einstein was born in Barnstead, New Hampshire at Tiz Miniature Horse Farm. He's a pinto foal, which is a very small breed as it is, but even then, Einstein could perfectly well break the world record for the tiniest foal ever. Unlike the current record holder, a mare called Thumbelina, Einstein doesn't show any signs of dwarfism. In other words, he's simply a very small horse. On his first birthday, he grew to 20 inches tall and was still pretty darn adorable. His mother, a horse called Finesse, is also quite small. Standing at 32 inches tall, she's not that much bigger than her son, and she is 2 inches taller than Einstein's dad, who stands at only 30 inches tall. A very cute and tiny family indeed. Number 4. Appaloosa Symbolizing the Wild West, the Appaloosa is distinguished by its spotted coat. This breed of horse, which demonstrated its bravery during the war between the cowboys and the Indians, owes its survival to the action of passionate breeders. It is a loyal and enduring mount. The Appaloosa comes from horses introduced by Spanish settlers. From 1700, equines arrived in the American Northwest, Oregon, Idaho, and Washington, the territory of the Nez Perce Indians. The tribe quickly developed expertise in the selection and use of horses. The qualities sought were power, endurance, and speed, but the Indians also appreciated their colorful coats and their short mane. The name Appaloosa didn't appear until the end of the 19th century in reference to the Palouse River, located in Idaho. In 1877, the defeat of the Indian chief Joseph and his Nez Perce people led to the capture and breakup of the livestock, which was left in the wild or resold. The extinction of the breed was avoided when, at the beginning of the 20th century, a few enthusiasts began to look for the descendants of horses with with a sufficient number of characteristics to breed them. The Appaloosa Stud Book was founded in 1938. There are two types of Appaloosas, the modern breed and the foundation breed. If the physique of the first is closer to the quarter horse, the second is very similar to the specimens owned by the Indians. Number 3. Arabian Horse the purebred Arabian is a saddle horse that doesn't go unnoticed and is often referred to as the most beautiful horse on the planet. This horse breed is one of the oldest in the world. Of great beauty, it has a very appreciable character and shows extraordinary will and endurance. It is a true prince of the desert. This horse, considered as the pearl of the Middle East, is perfectly described by this Arabic saying. From the boar, he has the courage. From the gazelle, the grace. From the antelope, gaiety. Of the ostrich, the speed. This prince of the desert full of mysteries is at the heart of countless legends. On the physical level, he combines roundness, fluidity, grace, flexibility, and lightness, some comparing it to a dancer. Unlike many equine breeds, this one does not have drastic standards. The coat of this fine-skinned horse can be black, rarer, chestnut, bay, or gray, this one being very common, and it changes over the years, first almost metallic, then gradually lightening until it approaches white. The shiny coat is short and silky. As for its black eyes, they are large and round, and their look of extreme vivacity is very expressive. It has a particularity, the fact of having only 17 ribs, one less than other horses. And while these have 24 vertebrae, the Arabian purebred has only 21. These are primitive traits that the breed has retained. Number 2. The Akal Teke, the Golden Horse. The Akal Teke is a saddle horse originating from Turkmenistan, where it is a real national pride. It is known for its silky and shiny golden coat and its elegance. The breed is very enduring. Having its origin in the desert, this horse is able to walk long distances in extreme heat. It's also very resistant and can withstand temperature variations from 50 to negative 30 degrees Celsius. Although very famous and admired for its beauty, the worldwide headcount of Akal Teke barely exceeds 5,000 individuals. Like the Arabian purebred, it was bred and selected by nomadic desert tribes. 
Its name comes from one of them, the Teke tribe, who have been raising it for more than 30,000 years in the Akal Oasis, where the best farms were located. With a silky coat, a fine profile, and a proud look, the Akal Teke is reminiscent of the Arabian purebred. Deploying excellent sporting abilities, it is, above all, for its metallic color that the animal arouses admiration. After developing the breed, the USSR organized its mass slaughter to promote mechanized agriculture. The breed then went from around 20,000 heads at the end of the 19th century to just 300 in the middle of the 20th century. The Caltech A lovers saved the animal from certain extinction. It is one of the oldest horse breeds in the world. The first evidence of horses resembling the Akalteke dates back to the 5th century BC. Some claim they were the cavalry mounts of Alexander the Great. Number 1. Camarillo White Horse the white Camarillo horse is a rare breed of American saddle horse. They were bred by the Camarillo family from 1921 to 1987 when Adolfo Camarillo's daughter, Carmen, died. All Camarillo horses are descended from a single foundational sire, Sultan, a Mustang born in 1912 and purchased by Adolfo Camarillo, who gained great popularity with the stallion in various equestrian championship shows in California. The stallion was crossed with Morgan mares, but almost all Camarillo whites have inherited the easy and gentle temperaments of Sultan. The Camarillo white horse is born completely white and retains that color throughout its life due to a unique mutation of one of the white genes which completely prevents the expression of color. The Camarillo White Horse Association was created to save the breed in 1992. In order to bring in new blood, the registry contains an open stud book which requires that at least one of the registered horse's parents be a descendant of the Camarillo horse, but allowing crosses with other breeds. As you can see, every horse breed is unique and very different from the rest. They all have their peculiarities that make them so special. What about you? Which one of all the horse breeds is your absolute favorite and why? Tell us about it. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.